head down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays, Uncharted 4. On the last episode, things settled down. We uh, returned to present day. We, we learned that the Panama incident was 15 years ago. And uh, Drake has now settled down. He's got a uh, salvage job. Um, so that's what he spent most of his time doing. His, uh, his person of in, uh, his employer, Jameson, uh, really wants him to do this off the books mission. Uh, and Drake really doesn't want to risk it because he has settled down. But he's taking the paperwork home. He's taking a look at it. He's flipped it over. Let's see what it says here. And da -da -da. there's a bunch of information. Jameson really wants this to happen. Wow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Oh, man. Chapter 4. A Normal Life. Holy crap. This, uh, this must be... This must be my home. Once again, the attention to detail is always off the charts here, so I'm going to take a moment to look around uh, what is presumably Drake's Attic. <laughs> oh, man. Anyone who's played some of the uh, previous Uncharted games will absolutely notice some things. Climbed your big brother some years back. God, this is awesome. Kind of like reliving the, uh, the glory days. Yee. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. Hmm. Keep looking around, see what else we can see here. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Something else here? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Wow. God, that feels like a million years ago. Found this on my old camera, thought you'd like to have it. And the E is, uh, Elena. Hmm. God, this is incredible. Especially having played these games for several years now. It's so awesome to actually see everything. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. <laughs> Nate and Tenzin. Let's see. Anything on the back of this? No. Yeah, this is this is one of those parts where uh, it will definitely be enriched if you have played some of the previous games. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. God, I remember that. We get over here. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else? What do we got here? Nah. And the cross. Yeah. Thanks for nothing, Saint Dismas. <laughs> hmm. So it's the one that got away. What else is around? Here we go. Yeah. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. <laughs> really? Oh my god. This is this is ag absolutely preposterous. But I I have I have a toy gun. 
I'm running around my attic <laughs> with a toy gun. Anything else of interest out there? No, I don't think so. God, I was hoping I would be able to head out. All right. <laughs> like this is funny. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. But first, I have to relive my glory days by shooting ping pong balls around. Back in business. Oh my God, this is it's crazy. Bullseye. Oh wow! I didn't even that. I didn't even realize I had these set up. That. Eat plastic. Gotcha. Yeah, bring it. Like a pro. So long. That'll teach you. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to remind everyone that this is a real thing that's happening in the in the game right now. Well, playtime's over. The ping pong balls are just scattered everywhere. We live in a nice place. Part of me was like, hmm, can I still take the gun? Alright, let's go downstairs. God, this is my house. This is crazy. Like, just being able to walk around and see it all. Hmm. And there's still more stuff to interact with. Oh, there's pages. Wow. Now that is a good one. Hmm. It's so weird to see Drake separated from adventure. See what else is around here. Nice big bathroom. Very nice big bathroom. God, it, can I step on this? It's really dumb, but like I, I just, I really appreciate being able to walk around environments like this. One of the, th uh, the ones that sticks out in my mind the most is um, early, very early on in The Last of Us. Whenever you're walking around the house. And this, uh, has similar feels. Another bathroom. Hmm. Maps and stuff everywhere. Oh, the camera. Wow, we really need to go on another vacation. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Too long. Been all over the place, haven't we? Hmm. This is where Elena works. Oh, is this what you're working on? Hmm. Bangkok travel guide. Ultimate travel guide to Bangkok. Whether you visited Bangkok before, or it's your first time to the capital of Thailand, this book will help you navigate everything from common tourist destinations to off-the-beaten-path adventures. Filled with local knowledge, this guide will help you get the most out of your visit. Very cool. Alright, I guess we should probably go downstairs. I guess. Been really enjoying just taking a tour of the house, though. And shooting a toy gun in the attic. Let's see here. Hmm. Playlist? Yet another bathroom. Two and a half bathrooms. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. 
Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There's the food. Sorry. There's also a refrigerator I need to check. Hmm. Yeah, there sure. Go. And I got myself soda. In a minute, Elena's gonna be like, "Why don't you have the food?" And be like, "Sorry, I've just uh, this is the first time I've ever been to my own home, so just checking it out." Here you go. And <laughs> done. Okay. Oh. Finish it. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? <laughs> God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? <laughs> what? Hmm? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm hmm Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Kind of so, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but... I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So I kinda took this U-turn in, in his elegy. <laughs> Just completely zoning out here. I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. It's about, you know, the uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not, not of Bangkok. Lost city near Bangkok, in or about the city limits of Bangkok. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, watch and learn. Of course. Oh, hey, hey. God, that's almost too good. 
Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. <laughs> when you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. Oh, my God. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack. Yeah, and press X to jump. Right. Press X. Yeah, right. Um. My God. I actually just did a first 20 of this not long ago, so okay, maybe I'll be okay. Boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. That's smart. Watch that pit. I'm doing okay. Watching, I watched it. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. Oh, Looks whoops. Like a fox in jeans. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it this time. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Oh, uh, these graphics are pretty good. Aren't they? Mm. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, that's not very realistic. <laughs> oh, yeah, way to go there. Not bad, not bad. Oh, God. Why is he stealing all this fruit? Foxes do not need fruit. He's not stealing, he's collecting. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. <laughs> huh. Yeah, well, you would know. What's that? Nothing. Talk and smack again. Oh, God. Stay focused. Use your spin attack. Which button? Circle spin attack. Good, good. There you go. Oh, dear God. Okay, get the wumpa fruit. What the hell is wumpa fruit? It's clear, it's a wumpa fruit. Fruit? What does a fox want fruit? Oh, man. Keep it together, Steven. Oh, keep it together. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. Man, I was so close to dang. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, just keep talking. Mode. Keep talking. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you going to do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they 
and doctors. They patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. Like I've seen a ghost. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. Hey. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So, what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh... That actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um... A few years back, I got roped into, uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact. From Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, it was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. <laughs> we spent hey, all night talking. Say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe uh, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but um, the last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. <laughs> 